everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for Video Game News. It is July 9th, 2021 and these are the top stories of the day. To kick things off, over on Twitter, Tag Hewer says the following. Coming super soon, power up on July 13th. Hashtag Tag Hewer cross Super Mario. For priority access, register now at the following link. Stay tuned, Super Mario Nintendo. So yes, if you're looking at getting a new watch, a nice watch, hopefully, you could get one of these in four more days. Little video. Does it give a hint off at what the watch is going to look like? We know it's a limited edition watch. I'm going to let the music play one more time just because I love the superstar music. All right, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, this came out of nowhere. You know, it's one of those things that's interesting because last year was the Super Mario 35th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers, specifically, and we got a lot of cool collaborations um, between Nintendo and other companies. You know, we had Lego, we had Puma, we had Levi's, and now we're getting a Tag Heuer one. So I'm interested in seeing what this watch looks like. Uh, I personally wear an Apple Watch, and it's kind of difficult for me to go back to anything else because the functionality of this watch is everything, right? I'm a big fitness guy, so I wear it while swimming, doing karate, running, weightlifting, you know, playing with my kids. I wear it while you know performing archery. It's got my steps and you know calorie input, exercise, caloric burn. Um, altitude, heart rate monitor, like it does so much that honestly I have a few other very nice watches and you know watches that actually don't have to be wound up, don't have to have battery replacement, just you know they continuously are um, building up their own charge by you wearing them or if I don't wear it for a while put it on a watch wind or something like that and you know that is one of the downsides of this is it has to be uh, charged every 30 hours or so which I usually do at like the 24 hour mark before going to bed but regardless of the relatively low amount of battery this thing has you get into the habit of just that charging it when you charge your phone before you go to bed every night and then wear it while you go to bed and the sleep tracking and stuff so it's been kind of hard for me to go back to other watches kind of like you know if there was a special edition phone that wasn't my iPhone that I you know, have been a part of since 2008, uh, 13 years now, um, it'd be kind of hard to pick up another phone just because the iPhone itself is my camera, is my, you know, email device, text device, video camera, connection tool to the outside world, stock market, research device, like everything in one, right? Articles, I could read and write on the go, record videos, throw them online. So I'm kind of torn. I hope the watch is really cool because if it's really cool, regardless of how often I'll buy it, regardless of how often I wear it, I'll probably buy it because, like I said, I love Mario. I do like nice watches. It's just as a daily thing, I'll probably stick to my Apple Watch. However, cool enough, uh, I'll wear it when I go out, you know? and um, could be pretty neat. Okay, I'm not gonna say that's it for video game news today, but that's actually kind of it in terms of news news. The rest is just something neat. It's only one other topic to talk about, and that is happy 40th birthday to Donkey Kong. You know, I didn't know what image, what graphic I would use, but this one popped up and I like it. This is on David Wise's Twitter, and it's actually that post that I have for you. And today is Donkey Kong's 40th birthday. This is something awesome to me because I love the character. I love the franchise. We share July together. You know, my birthday was July 7th. Donkey Kong's is July 9th. But he's 1981 and I'm 1983. So I've got two calendar days ahead of him and he's got two years ahead of me so I always felt pretty close to Donkey Kong 
And, of course, for that matter, Mario, which got his start in this game as Jumpman. So this is also, in a way, the celebration of Mario's 40th birthday. Now, Super Mario Brothers turned 35 last year. And Super Mario, the game, Mario and Luigi, remember that title? That was actually created in 1983. So it shares uh, my age of 38 now which will happen next week for, Mar Super, for, for Mario Brothers, I should say. But, um, yeah, regardless, some people say, ah, oh, Mario wasn't created officially until 1983 in Mario Brothers. Some others say, no, Mario was Jumpman in Donkey Kong, so it's his 40th. But wherever you are, regardless, Donkey Kong is 40th today. And then on the other side, you get like, well, that's the original Donkey Kong. That's Cranky Kong, not this Donkey Kong. But whatever. Donkey Kong as a character, as a franchise, 40 today. As I said earlier, uh, the reason why I chose David Wise's um, Twitter to have the image and the comment is because I like that he acknowledged it. And he said, happy 40th birthday to Donkey Kong. It's been amazing to have been involved with the talented and creative development teams in bringing such a fun and charismatic video game to the Super Nintendo and Nintendo Switch. Retro Studios, Rare LTD, Donkey Kong 40, all rights, Nintendo. David Wise, if you don't know, was the composer of the original Donkey Kong Country trilogy on Super Nintendo back in the day and came back to work with Retro Studios for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on Wii U and then eventually on Nintendo Switch. So, you know, quite the composer, very talented, awesome ability to give us music. You know, Donkey Kong Country came out November 1994, and for me, I was already a fan of Donkey Kong himself. I love gorillas. Uh, before I even knew who Donkey Kong was, as a little, little boy, I was a fan of King Kong. And if you watch my channel, you know how stoked I was for Godzilla vs. Kong. So, really, Godzilla and Kong, well, I should say in particular here, uh, King Kong and Donkey Kong and gorillas in general, just love them, you know? Gorilla is my spirit animal. Uh, I mentioned several days ago how... You know, right before my birthday, I wanted to see, okay, where's my bench press at these days? And I always, you know, relate my chest to gorilla-like strength, right? At 160 pounds, my max bench press ever was 385 pounds, which was uh, quite a level for me to achieve, and I'm pretty proud of that. I haven't tried to max out in a while, and that's why, like I said, a couple of days ago, I was at the gym, and I was like, well, let's see, where am I at? nowadays without having maxed out in a while without without not being my goal lately what could i do so i got up to 285 pounds on my fourth set did 12 reps felt pretty comfortable and i said you know what we can't stop at 285 if i'm doing 12. i put 300 on which is 15 pounds more i was still able to do eight reps on my fifth set so i was like you know pretty pretty happy with that you know, I feel like um, if I really wanted to, probably like a 330 pound max bench press is what I could have as my one time right now, perhaps. So I'm a couple of years removed from that 385, but I probably could get back to it if I wanted to. I just don't really feel like I have a need to surpass that. Getting any higher, and I'm going to probably risk that injury territory. I'm actually lucky, knock your head knock on wood that I haven't gotten injured in weightlifting ever because I have gotten quite heavy in lat pull down and weighted pull ups, uh, bench press, squats, deadlifts, even curls. So yeah, sometimes you gotta put up a goal, crash the goal, put up another goal, beat that, and then just be happy and don't, you know, don't, don't push it, right? But anyways, <laughs> I deviated going from video games into weightlifting, but that's, like, I can't help it, right? I love video games, I love weightlifting, I love martial arts. But I related my strength to uh, being a gorilla, you know? Go to the zoo, that's my favorite animal. In large part, thanks to Donkey Kong and how hooked I was on this game when it came out in 1994. I was 11 years old, I used to rent the title, and just to have 
fond memories of, you know, renting it mostly back in the day before eventually buying it, but uh, renting it, you know, Christmas time, listening to this iconic music, getting these VHS tapes in the mail Nintendo sent out from Nintendo Power Magazine of Donkey Kong Country and how hyped I was and how good the graphics looked like. This game had, you know, 3D pre-rendered polygon characters on a 2D plane going left and right, up and down, but oh, there was so much depth, so many layers in the background, and like I said, I already liked Donkey Kong in arcades and playing it at home, playing it at various arcades uh, throughout California and stuff. Um, fan of King Kong, of course, and I remember in scouting back in the day, we had a mold out of clay before putting it in the heater to uh, crispen it up and tighten it. An animal. Gorilla, instantly. And uh, Donkey Kong was my uh, motivation, so I made the gorilla look as much like DK as I could, and uh, the scoutmaster in charge of that merit badge kind of questioned oh, where, where was your base for the gorilla you know who did you use out of a magazine or out of a you know boy's life or something like that a, a zoo magazine did you go to the zoo like oh, no, I was uh, Donkey Kong box art <laughs> that was kind of funny but yeah just just hooked hooked on Nintendo hooked on karate love Donkey Kong this is special to me I really hope that the Nintendo EPD rumor of the Super Mario Odyssey team comes true in that they are developing a brand new you know, AAA budget Donkey Kong game. Whether it's 2D or 3D, I'm totally there. That was one of the ones that I was really hoping that would show up at E3 and didn't. My goodness, how fantastic would it be if later today at some point Nintendo dropped on Twitter. Check it out. Brand new Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong World. I don't know, whatever they want to call it. Coming out this November or December. Boom. Oh, how terrific. How terrific would it be? Like, I love this series, you know? And even though the safer route is to go 2D and create some brand new awesome platformer, I would really love to see this game go 3D. I think with the power of the Nintendo Switch having these fully realized 3D jungles. We haven't had a 3D game since Donkey Kong 64, and that was a long time ago. You know, it's been 20 years. Uh, have a 3D jungle go through, pop from barrel to barrel, have some cool ground pound mechanics, let you play as a couple of the characters, have a two-player online mode that doesn't force you to be in split screen, of course, like a co-op experience. I'll have some online versus component too, even like a little little fun side side element to the game. If you're playing on the couch, yeah, maybe you could have two-player co-op and uh, have it split screen. Or if you're close together, you'd be tethered together by some invisible mystical rope. And as if you get too far apart, the screen goes farther apart, farther apart until, okay, it splits. Uh, maybe, maybe not necessarily that type of mechanic, but whatever they could do, they could make it work, I'm sure and just give us a really fun 3D game. Or even if the second player is kind of like a Super Mario Odyssey Cappy sort of thing, or a Super Mario Galaxy 1 or 2, you know, Luma Star pointing thing, that would be all right. Just give me a new Donkey Kong game, preferably 3D, but if it's 2D, no problem. Have David Wise come on and do the composition, or, you know, Nintendo internally, I'm sure it could handle the music just fine, but what well, would really be nice all this stuff set aside, all of this hypothetical talk, my wishes for what this game could be is, Nintendo, just just acknowledge it. Go on Twitter on your own page without someone else saying happy anniversary, and you yourself say happy anniversary, happy 40th birthday, Donkey Kong. Hashtag Donkey Kong 40. If there's no Twitter drop, if there's no game announcement, if there's no grand you know, yellow Nintendo Switch Pro Controller special release for the day or some game coming out this fall. At least today, say happy birthday, I think. This is one of your biggest characters. 
one of your first true mascots, and I think some proper acknowledgement would be pretty awesome. But that's just me. All right, this went from a little bit of video game news to really just talking about Donkey Kong. So I hope you had fun listening to me ramble on. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong! Got me pumped up. I'm going to go play some DK today. That's what I'm going to do. Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. They're all on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Well, yeah, eShop, but specifically on the Nintendo Switch NSO, Nintendo Switch Online service. Wii U. Uh, that's where you can access them on eShop. But yeah, let me know if you have any cool Donkey Kong um, memories. All right. That, that chest beating was a little bit random, but, you know, sometimes you just get pumped up talking about DK, and you got to do what you got to do. All right. Take it easy, everyone. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.